Welcome back everybody, this is Hassan Akhtar Nisar again and uh, in this video we are going to talk about the 24 consonant English sounds. You see, we have uh, 26 English letters we call the alphabet but in uh, International Phonetic Alphabet we have uh, 44 sounds with their symbols and out of those we have 24 consonants and here we are going to talk about that. Let's get started. All consonant sounds have uh, basic three characteristics. They are particular in their manner of articulation or the place of articulation and whether or not the sound is voiced or unvoiced. See, we're going to check it out. First of all, let's talk about the six plosives or the stops. P, B, T, D, K, G. Repeat after me. P, B, T, D, K, G. They are the plosives or the stops. In manner of articulation, they are plosives or stop. And in place of articulation, they are all different. Uh, let me put it in this way. <clears throat> These are now the pairs. P and B are bilabials. In place of articulation, you see, we have to move the two lips. The two lips meet. P, B. Look closely. P, B. P, B. Right? And then we have T and D. T and D are alveolars. And in alveolars, we move the tip of tongue to the alveolars. So they, they are called alveolars. T and G are the velars. In the production of the K and G sounds, at the back of the tongue touches the uh, velum. So they are called velars. Right? So the six are plosives. P as in police and pure. B as in book and uh, beauty. So, T and D, T as in uh, toad and tiny, D as in duck and doll, K as in class. You see that here we don't uh, classify according to the spellings. Okay, here we have the sound. In class, we have this sound, right? So, in phonetic transcription, we will write it something like this, right? So, K as in class or uh, club or with the K letter, uh, kite. G as in uh, girl, as in glass, as in uh, girlish. And after these uh, six uh, uh, plosives or I told you stops, we have nine fricatives. Uh, these are P, V, T, Z, T, Z, Sh, Y, and H. Nine uh, fricatives. Fricative is the manner of articulation and in place of articulation, they are all different. P and V are the labiodentals. S and the are the dentals, then S and uh, Z are the alveolars, and Sh and Y are the palatal or the post alveolars, and the last one is H. This is glottal. Ladies and gentlemen, 9 plus 6, we have now 15. And after this, we have two applicates Ch and J. Ch as in church and lunch and uh, domestic chores. And J sound as in uh, judge and jury and um, judgment, right? Ch and J. So Ch and J are the affricates there in manner of articulation and palatal or post alveolar again in the place of articulation. So what happens here? The blade of tongue touches the palate and completely blocks the air strain. Ch, J. So 17 symbols so far. And after this, we have three nasal sounds, m, n, and ng, m, n, and ng, m, so these three, m, n, and ng are the nasal sounds in manner of articulation, in place of articulation, m, as we talked about the bilabials, p and b, m, two lips together, m, this is bilabial, n, it's alveolar, tip of tongue, touches the velar, and ng, remember the k and g sounds we discussed previously? It's the back of the tongue touches the velar, right? So, ng, ma, na, ng. Out of the rest four sounds, we have one lateral approximant, l, l, lateral approximant in manner of articulation, and this is alveolar in the place of articulation, l, lateral approximant. 21, the last three are called the approximants uh, in manner of articulation, w, r, and j. And in place of articulation, wa again is bilabial, wa. Uh, two lips almost together, not completely together, right? And this is this is a very beautiful sound. But here in our culture, we don't pronounce uh, wa the way it should be. We say wa, like wal or 
uh, well, it's not well, it's well or wall and uh, one, for example, it's not a one, it's one. And after uh, this is the R sound, R, uh, again, the tip of tongue touches the wheeler almost, but it doesn't. R as in rat and uh, rabbit and uh, right. Okay? And the last one is a Y sound, Y sound. It's uh, similar with the sh and Y sound. Only the difference is that uh, when we produce the Y sound, we don't touch the blade of tongue with the uh, palate right as in student and pure and computer and uh, university so ladies and gentlemen these are the 24 consonant sounds in ipa if you cram them if you know the sound the place of articulation the manner of articulation and uh, you can read the dictionary and you can produce really good sounds and remember what i've been telling all these years good sounds mean good english if your sounds are bad your English is bad. See you next time.